At Freedom High School, students put the adage, it's not rocket science, to the test. One, one, one. With the help of the Patriots Jet Team Foundation, students were tasked to build rockets from scratch while keeping in mind how their rockets would fly depending on three variables, fins, body, and tone. With the help of a pump and 40 pounds of air pressure, rockets took to the sky as high as 60 feet in the air. At times, getting lost in the sun, and some, well, staying grounded. Freedom High School science teacher Matt Cantrell explains more on this out of the world project. This is our rocket project where the kids uh, build a rocket with three variables, fins, body, and cone. Mm -hmm. uh, they build the rocket, they graph, we put all this data in for qualitative and quantitative stuff, and then we go out, we send them off, then they can bring it back and change one variable, cone, body, or fins, and then they set them off again. The key to this, it's kind of an exercise to get them used to graphing and stuff, but one of the main things is we're getting the kids used to working together as groups. Indeed, it was a fun and exciting learning experience for everyone. And after a year of distant learning, it was obvious that Freedom High School kids are happy to be with their peers and back into a learning environment they can all enjoy. I think the most important thing always with these kids is learning how you can have fun and try hard at the same time. Uh, too many kids think that if you're having fun, then maybe you're not quite, you're not trying hard enough, and that's not true. I want the kids to know that you can have fun every single day in every single project, and the learning will just fall because you create an environment where they're having fun, and they want to start learning science. Because come on, it's science. I mean, who can hate science? Many lessons were learned today, but none like the importance of in-class learning and teamwork. Although the students had to deal with some lofty wins, they met the challenge head-on with flying colors. Reporting for the Brentwood Press, I'm Andrew Willota.